Okay, here's another uh, automation on how to transfer space uh, naming to air terminal. So, for example, this air terminal here, we select this one. This is a toilet, so exhaust air grill, and then area serve text. So it, it should be the area serve will be the, the space naming and the level. So I already created the script here. So this is a script. So you select the current view, active view, nodes. Uh, the purpose of creating a current view is that so that it, the, your computer will not um, hang. Because if you select all category of space, it will calculate compute all the space in your project. So this project is a huge, uh, has many level, huge area. So it's not advisable to uh, get all the spaces in your project, in your model. So we are getting the space and our terminal per view on the current active view, this one. So this is a script, a simple script, this one, elements of space. So you can screen capture this one and then we can automate now the uh, air terminal area serve location okay so I just hide this one here okay so this one you see this air terminal here as you can see there's no information yet but this is a uh, actually serving in this space so the name of this space is uh, toilet here and the number also toilet F so just type here. So this one here, I will just, I use only the name and level. So I did not use the number. So it's it's your, uh, you can use also the number if you're, you prefer to place the number also in the terminal. So I will just hide this one here or I will just save this one. Close and then manage tab and then dynamo player. So it's better is the, the dino player is smaller. So we go back here, space to element, select this one. So it's, it's reading. So once you have now this one, so of course, this number here will be the, you get the number of this uh, character. So zero, I mean one, two, three. Or yes, correct. So okay, so I think we're okay now. So let's just um, play this one and watch that all the information will be populated. And what happened? Okay, let's end it again. Maybe I made some um, uncheck in the dynamo. So let's recheck the dynamo. So this is the dynamo. So number active view okay. okay, we close this one and just go this one to the side. And then let's try to run this one. The dynamo. Okay, this one here. Try to run this one. So it's reading out. So just try and watch here the information it will populate. So it will just take a little as moment or seconds to read. So imagine if you are populating all the levels and getting all the information of space in your huge project a big model then it will take time so this one is just getting the space in the active view in this floor level so the floor level will be second story for this one so it's, it's, it's getting this one Let's try to finish this one. Okay.
So in this uh, level alone, uh, second story, it has approximately a 2,000 um, air terminal. So imagine you are populating all the information, 2,000 air terminal. So it's just finished now, so it's already populated now. So we can just minimize this one. So as you can see here, it's already uh, updated all the with with second uh, text, second story, then tag console, toilet second story. So some of it is not showing. So but you can anytime you can update this one. So that's how you can uh, automate using a uh, Dynamo. You can also do this in uh, another process is uh, Excel. So this is Dynamo, right? So I'll show you another process on how to populate this one. So I will just try to save this one. Okay. Okay, so that's another process for Dynamo using Dynamo. Another process.